do is remove your milk from the bags. You cannot just open the bag and freeze dry it because it's not going to have the circulation it needs to get it all dry. And removing it from the bags is a little tricky, but it works better pre-frozen in the bags than just pouring it on the tray. I, I'm not going to even talk about my mishaps there, but it's just so much better to remove it from the bag. So the first thing you're going to need to do is deep clean your sink. Make sure it's super clean because you're going to actually dunk the entire bag in there and you don't want anything gross or dirty on there. Um, I scrub mine out with Dawn dish soap and a magic eraser. Use some disinfecting wipes. Make sure it's extra super sparkly clean. Um, you're also going to want a gloves so that you can keep it clean, don't get any germs from your fingers, because you're, you're storing this long term, like this is meant for long term storage, so the cleaner you are with it, the better. So, get your gloves on, you're also going to need a 4 cup measuring cup, and a pair of scissors, and some gallon sized Ziploc bags. The amount of bags you're going to need is going to depend on the shape of your breast milk bags, and how many you have to prep. We're going to plug the sink and we're going to fill it with pretty hot water. Um, so how this is going to work is we've got our bags of milk. Whee! Oh, that's like actually frosting off my hand. Oh, that's what happens when your freezer is like minus 20. Um, and we're going to just briefly dip it in here for like three seconds, not even that. Like one to two seconds is usually enough, but as your water cools it might take a little longer. Um, so this is already started, so I'm just going to go ahead and do one, and then we'll do a close-up after. Uh, so I got my Ziploc bag, and you're going to want this open and ready. Because what we're going to do is, after it's out of the bag, we're going to lay it flat in the layer in here, and then it's going to go back into the freezer until we're ready to deal with it. So, first one. One, two, and you can kind of like feel the wrapper and see if it's loose. It's loose on one side, not the other, so it needs like a second more. It does not take long, like it's already done. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to cut that off. And then I can squeeze this out, which you can't even really see me now, but I can squeeze the milk out into this bag. And it takes a little bit. You don't want to overly melt it though, so it's better to have it work to squeeze it out. And so then there's still like milk. You can still see that like this has stuff left in it. And so what I do is I take this and I put it in the four cup measuring cup and I lay it upside down because by the end of this, I'm going to have like an ounce or two at least in there for every 10 bags I do. And that's extra milk you can throw in the freezer and freeze dry. Just make sure there's no like water on the outside of it so that you're not accidentally freeze drying water. So then I'm going to do this really quickly to some other ones and form a single layer in this bag and lay it back in the freezer. But I have to do it really fast, so I'm going to go. milk removed from the bags and just for reference these are the shelves and I can fit about 12 bags on each shelf if they are the Medela 5 ounce or the even flow 5 ounce. Make sure they're solid before we put them on the trays for the freeze dryer which freeze your trays ahead of time so that when you put your milk on them it doesn't melt them to the tray. Just a little tip. These are all the tops from all the bags I did. So this is where I shoved all the upside down bags and as you can see there's quite a bit of milk leaking out of them. I just kind of shake off the bag so there's not a bunch of water caught on it right before I put it in here upside down. Um, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it in trays and freeze it into cubes and throw it in the empty spaces in the freeze dryer. So I put all those bags in there upside down like I showed you and I don't know if you can see that but there's quite a bit of milk in the bottom. And how I'm going to deal with this is see me? I don't know if you can. Um, basically, I take each bag and I pull it up and I kind of scissor my fingers on it. And I kind of slide everything I can out of it and then I'm just going to toss the bag in the sink. And I'm going to do this for all of them just to make sure I get every drop out. Anyone who pumps knows exactly how valuable this is. So I'm not crazy, I promise. Um, 
So we're going to do this for all of the bags. And I am going to tell you that if you plan to freeze dry using the Medela 5 ounce bags or the Evenflow 5 ounce bags are your best bet because they fit on the trays a lot better than other brands of bags. You can still freeze dry other ones, but you're going to be able to more efficiently use your space on the trays if you use the 5 ounce bags from Medela and Evenflow. So all those are squeezed out and I've got quite a bit of milk in here and it's all milk. Um, I shake it off before I put the bags in there so there's no there's no water and then I have actually set this in the fridge and it's separated into a ridiculous amount of fat. Um, so this is about a cup from 12 bags per tray, about 60 bags of milk. So that's quite a bit and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour this into these little milk freezing trays I have and I'm going to freeze these cubes and they'll go on the ends in the space that is at the end of all the milk cubes that I've already taken out of the bags and they they kind of fit perfectly and these guys freeze dry super fast so it's it all in the trays and this is going to go in the freezer to fill in the gaps in space on the tray and also to use up everything because there's no way I'm wasting any so here's the part where it's not exactly like formula Every batch you make is going to be a different reconstitution ratio, which is why I package mine in pre-prepared two and four ounce servings. It just makes it a lot easier later so that you don't have to deal with doing math in your head and remembering which batch was which. You just set it so that you can add that much and you're done. So in order to make sure you do this right, you need to have a scale. You need a food scale. You're gonna put your bowl on it so that you can tear it out and you're gonna weigh your bag. This bag is 0.35 and it's the same bag I used on all of them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my frozen milk out of the freezer. I'm going to weigh it on here after I tear it out the bowl so that it doesn't count that way. And I'm gonna subtract the weight of the bag and I'm gonna write it down. So this first bag that I'm gonna weigh, all right, we're gonna make sure it's teared. Nothing's touching the scale. I'm gonna try to get in there the best I can. This one is 20.55 ounces. So I'm gonna subtract the 0.35 ounces from it. So that's how much my milk weighs. And I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna do for this for all of the bags because I'm gonna need these numbers later. So when you do this, try to do it quickly because you don't wanna keep anything out of the freezer longer than you need to. So the second bag is 31.25. I subtract the 0.35 and I put back in the freezer and do the next Look one. Look at all those bags. Wait, which 